Have you ever wondered why you get goosebumps? Whether it's from the cold, a scary movie, or even an emotional song. There's actually an evolutionary reason behind it. Let's dive into the science. Goosebumps happen when tiny muscles under your skin contract, making your hair stand on end. This reaction is controlled by your nervous system and happens without you thinking about it. It's totally automatic. A long time ago, our ancestors had way more body hair. When they felt cold, their hair would stand up, creating a layer of insulation, just like how a cat fluffs up in winter. This helped them stay warm. But goosebumps weren't just about warmth. When animals feel threatened, their fur stands on end to make them look bigger and scarier to predators. Think of a frightened cat puffing up. Even though we don't have thick fur anymore, our bodies still react the same way. Ever felt goosebumps when listening to an amazing song or watching an emotional scene? That's your brain releasing dopamine, a feel-good chemical, when you experience something deeply moving. Scientists call this free zone, a sudden wave of chills. In the modern world, we don't rely on goosebumps to stay warm or scare off predators, but they still show how our bodies hold onto ancient survival instincts. Some people get goosebumps more easily than others. Scientists think it's linked to personality and emotional sensitivity. Even dead bodies can get goosebumps. It's caused by muscle contractions after death. Porcupines and hedgehogs use a similar reaction to make their spines stand up. So the next time you get goosebumps, remember, it's your body's way of keeping ancient instincts alive. Evolution is pretty awesome, isn't it?